Ted, you're, you're, I know you're not a huge fan of it, but um, comics? Com I, I mean, I dabble. You dabble yeah, in I comics? do dabble. I'm into a manga, too. I've been getting into manga. manga. Have you... Um, have you seen this, ma like, not manga, but it's like a comic book. It's called uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Scott, dude, the movie with Michael Sarah. Oh, have you Sarah seen it with Michael Sarah? was and, um, beautiful. My, oh, my God, wait. And the game, too. I went hard on that game, dude. That, that um, side-scrolling beat-up. I, I, love off, Scott, I love Scott. I love Scott Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Oh Michael my God! It's so it was good. my favorite movie for so long. Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. And my and my Beautiful. celebrity crush, uh, crush, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Oh my God! Such a good movie because it's it it appeals to um, a certain taste, a certain humor, and I think it just hits every single. Have you read the comic? It was, I have not read the comic. I I had friends who. I would ask to borrow the comic from, but they did not let me because it was so precious. I'll tell you, I just like, I, I've read yeah. the comic, I've seen the movie, I've played the game. It's one of my favorite franchises. A great franchise, it's yeah. Just inter it's just interesting. I, I wish they made more movies, you know what I mean, with the other books. Yeah, but they kind of, they got all the books in like that one movie. They'd have to yeah. like, no, it's just, it, it was like one, I, I love Scott Pilgrim, it's a great franchise. I, it's like, an, it's an interesting story and honestly, like, yeah. For high schoolers, at least I know, like, like I read it in high school, and it really kind of helped me with like some like bad times. I don't know why, but I really, really enjoyed Scott Pilgrim. So, if anyone yeah. out there gets to read it or even watch the movie, it's just it's one of the best. Yeah, I get so attached to that film. It's a, it's so wonderful, dude. Favorite scene. It's like, it's like, well, I mean, the whole thing is like you're in a, uh, he's in a video game. Yeah, or, his life's yeah, yeah basically. his life's a video game, which is amazing. That's awesome. Favorite scene. Yeah, favorite scene. That's tough, man. That's tough. I would say, oh my gosh, what is my favorite scene? I would say, um, the roommate. Oh yeah, um, Wallace. Whenever he's with Wallace, it's just so funny. When he's like, when he's like, when he opens the door and I think it's knives. It's like, is Scott home? And then Scott. Oh, and he jumps through jumps the window. Jumps through the window, yeah. and he's like, no, no he just left. left. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a oh big fan God. of the um. First fight with the evil X, the first one. Yes. The one that looks a like a one. pirate. He looks like a pirate. And, yeah, like that's a pretty goth, dude. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's a pretty funny that's scene. A, I also like the... Um, he says bus chain. Oh, here's, I can pay for the bus now. Oh, yeah. Oh, because he yeah, gets the coins. Yeah. That scene and... Um, I'm a big fan of the when they when he first meets Ramona, not in the dream, the um when at the party. At the party. And he talks about Pac Man. Puck Man. Puck Man. It's pretty it's those, it's such a brilliant movie. Yeah, brilliant. I mean it's if you time. like do you have any favorite movie? I know my favorite movie. Uh, I I like the Hobbit franchise. Okay. That's so Lord of the Rings Lord in the general. Rings. Amazing. Amazing. So speaking of the movies though, it, um so like with the coronavirus, like a lot of um Major companies like going straight to streaming. Like, will this yeah, be the death of the movie theater? That's uh, a big topic. No, I don't think it's death of the movie theater. I mean, I think movie theaters are should be, and they are, an ingrained part of Western society. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, of course, the movie industry is going to be taking a hit right now. But at least we're at the point we're talking right now. Uh, COVID vaccine is in the works. Oh, it's actually it's on the been way. early it's, summer. Yeah, I've heard. Um, actually, the UK has already issued it for emergency services, right. and I think the people in, in the United States were looking at. Um, uh, I believe April May. So if we could get a vaccine by April May, I mean that would be so hype. I mean, that like we could that that just America would be ready for the summer, which is what I think everyone's afraid of. But right, and I think also with the movies, it's just such a, a unique experience. You know, you have the large screen, the the fantastic like the the audio that you can just feel and the and the food obviously the food i mean that's what that's what carries the entire movie experience movie theater popcorn is target popcorn target popcorn you've had target park target popcorn when they you know when they remember when they i don't know well they have they stopped at my old target but uh at the target of my town but they used to sell popcorn they'd have pop, a popcorn machine you just get popcorn never heard that before he's more of a jc Oh, JC Penny. JC Penny. Right. Penny. Yeah. Don't have yeah, we don't no have popcorn. popcorn. And G yeah, oh, we got it. Our angry customers and people whining. It was. But uh, no, I mean, to what you said, Kelly, I think like movie industry, it's going to rebound soon. Definitely. And, um, and so I, think the mo I mean, the movie industry was already on a, a kind of downward trend, but I think there's a lot of things that movie the movie industry needs to do to rejuvenate itself. And I think that some movies work 
the only work in, in movie theaters. And if you stream it, it just ruins the entire thing. Did you see? Um, it is an experience. Did you see Dunkirk? A few uh, years I, ago? Uh, I haven't. No. No. Dunkirk it was one of those movies you needed to see in theaters. Yeah. You, yeah, if you, you saw it, like I mean, it it was a serviceable movie. Yeah. Christopher Nolan movies, like it's made specifically for IMAX. Like if they're shooting on IMAX, they want you to see. Oh it my IMAX. god! And IMAX. Where is this? Christopher Nolan does the. Oh, it just bugs me when I watch his movies. Sometimes he does like different aspect ratios. Yeah. So like you watch, if you ever like pay attention to the black boxes in Christopher yeah. Nolan movies, it's so annoying because like there will be one uh, one sh like scene shot in IMAX and then like. One scene and condensed, and it's like, oh my god, it's terrible. And the audio in his like past couple movies has been absolutely garbage. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. You, like, especially if you see it in IMAX. I'm, so I saw his uh, new movie Tenet. I Tenet. Saw it in right. IMAX, and I saw it in digital, and like the audio in IMAX was terrible. Yeah. Really? I saw it in digital as much. Better. Digital was good. Yeah. But his nah the aspect ratio thing really triggers me and um but I mean like I like most of his movies I mean I'm a big fan fan at least of comic book like yeah, movies Dark the Dark Knight was like Dark Knight. one of the best oh ones my gosh. I'm a bit I I think at least for comic book movies my favorite is um Spider Man two Sp the original Spider Man two but yeah with Tobey yes. Maguire that was a that was great I love that movie. is that Doc Ock yeah that's Doc yes Ock. oh my god I would rewatch that so I just times. like the internal struggle of that movie him getting like just being down by life and then like my quitting opinion. and then like having to come back yeah. but such an eternal thing great fight scenes too oh yeah no the train scene still holds up today everything but um so good. i i i that movie like i remember seeing it when i was like really young like three years old and like i still watch it nowadays wow so it's like it's one of those movies like i watch like once that's in a while yeah once incredibles. in a while the incredibles the yeah. incredibles that's yeah that's favorite. a good one I have an odd like movie that I'm really a fan of. It's the 2015 Steve Jobs movie. Oh, that's really. It's good. Inter that's really it's interesting. Cool. It's um it's written by the same guy who wrote the Social Network. Um, so okay, yeah. I forget Social who Network. wrote that. I, it was written by Aaron Sorkin. Nice. Yes, yeah, screenplay was by Aaron Sorkin. David Fincher was the director, but it just. Seth Rogen was the perfect Steve Wozniak. Oh yeah, Seth Rogen. Yeah. <laughs> Seth Rogen movies are just great. Yeah. Have you seen Sausage Party? No, I haven't. I oh, haven't. Sausage Party. Oh, my God. That's a laugh, right? I watched yeah. a Seth Rogen movie the other day. It was, uh, what was it called? Knocked Up. And that was Knocked 2007. Up. That's a, wow. that was a good one. Got now, what was the one where it's him, James Franco, and they're, they're uh, like, yeah. the no, yeah, well, that's a good oh, one. Well, no, it was that's the one, one where the world was ending. The world was ending. That's what I was going to talk about. This is the end. This is the end. This oh, is the that end. Was that was a, a good one. Movie. That was a good one. 